Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate your PayPal smart buttons. But the problem here is like uh, how you can pass your custom details or maybe order details or you can call it additional information while implementing your PayPal smart buttons. I have already integrated a lot of uh, PayPal smart buttons into the Shopify stores and in other platforms like PHP, WordPress and all. So uh, I was also facing the problem which I have solved uh, last night. So the problem was like how we can uh, pass the additional data uh, to our uh, PayPal so let me show you uh, what I did so you can see that uh, once your orders is, order is completed uh, then you will be getting some information related to the purchase so you can see over here here is test description so this is order details so I have passed this one so this is the custom information uh, that I am interested to pass uh, while um, implementing the PayPal right so here is the quantity price and subtotal so I will be showing you step by step that how you will be add uh, some code uh, while implementing the PayPal smart button through which uh, you would able to uh, get all the data which you are interested in uh, to pass so that will be reflecting onto your receipt of the PayPal all right so let's uh, start with the sandbox so I am uh, using the sandbox um, credentials uh, because uh, this would be the testing so first of all you need to uh, first of all you need to uh, go to here developer dot paypal dot com forward slash demo forward slash checkout so once you are going here then you will be getting some uh, code which is provided by the PayPal and this is also recommended by the PayPal because this is uh, how uh, we need to uh, call the API of the PayPal right so let me copy this whole bunch of code from here so I'm gonna copy this first of all you need to select this one and then I'm going to copy so I have already implemented this one Le uh, let me close this tab now so I have just copied the code and I'm going to create a new file here so here we have the new file then we have the test text document and demo dot uh, html all right so once you are running this specific file you will be getting nothing so let me open this file into my text editor so here is my editor So I'm going to paste that code over here. So let me paste that one. So here you can see that all the code is over here, which I have just copied from the PayPal uh, developer uh, website. So let me save this one. I have saved this. And now let me run this code from here. So you can see that uh, these two buttons are appearing over here. So currently I have not set up the client ID and other uh, details. So let me set that one first. So you can see that on the top of this, we need to add the client ID. So here is the place where you need to add the client ID. This is client ID equal to SB. So you need to replace this SB with your client ID. So I'm gonna copy client ID of my test credentials. So I have copied that and let me paste it over here and then after that you need to mention the currency. So here I have written USD. So this is the default currency so you can modify according to your need. All right. So now what we are going to do here is we need to pass the mm, uh, amount. So for example I am passing here uh, 13. So this would be 13 USD, right? So now I'm interested to pass the custom information from my PayPal. So if you will be uh, uh, doing the payment right now, then you will be getting the amount of uh, 13 USD. And uh, other than that, you will get nothing, right? So I'm interested to pass the custom information. So you need to put here the comma. And then after you need to write here description. And inside of this description, you can mention 
my custom information all right so you need to save this one and now i am uh, ready to do the order so uh, one more thing i need to do here is i need to open my uh, uh, seller id i mean the sandbox uh, seller account so that i could uh, get the uh, um, uh, get the receipt of the completed order so let me log in that one first so i have already logged in over here but i am going to open a new browser so here i need to sandbox account sandbox.paypal.com so you need to log in over here so let me tell you here you need to click on login you need to add here the email id and then you need to add here the password and then click on login so once you are logged in then you will be getting the amount here this is 10956.04 usd so uh, on the right hand side you will be getting the orders detail so there will uh, there will be the list of all those orders which uh, are done on this account up till now so below over here you will be getting all the list so currently you have 9 usd which is on the top so let me do the new order so what we gonna do here is like this is the paypal so for example i am clicking on this one you can also uh, use the debit or credit card button this would be also passing the same information which we are going to pass in that one so here you need to log in with your uh, personal account so i have already the sandbox account which is the personal one so i am gonna use that one so this is the email id then we have the password you need to log in with this one So you can see that here we have 0.01 USD but I am interested to uh, add some more amount so let me see actually I have not uh, refreshed this page so one reason was that and another is I need to cross check the information over here this is 13 USD so it must be a th uh, 13 USD also over here right so let me uh, click on this PayPal button now so the amount must be modified with the 13 USD So you can see that here we have 13 uh, USD so this is the amount which I am uh, passing right now so earlier the page was not refreshed and I modified the code that's why it was showing 0.01 USD right so I am already logged in that's why uh, I just returned to this uh, specific uh, window otherwise you need to log in with your personal account and then after uh, you will be getting this screen so now you need to uh, select a specific payment method so i am interested to uh, use my paypal balance so let me use this one and then i am going to click on pay now 
so the payment is done so now i will be getting a prompt that transaction completed by rico so let me click on ok so now i need to uh, i need to uh, see the transaction over here so that transaction would be reflected on this specific account so you can see that this is the total amount and here the last transaction was uh, of 9 usd so if i am refreshing this page now the amount has been modified over here I think and let me show you the last transaction so from there we would be confirmed that uh, the amount has been mm, successfully transact so over here you can see that the last transaction is 13 USD which we have done just now so let me show you all the details of the whole transaction so from there you will be getting the information that uh, the custom information has been reached over here or not so you can see that my custom information so that is going to be reflected over here so the main motive of this uh, video was like uh, if you are interested to uh, pass such type of custom information so you can concatenate uh, into a spe by using a specific variable uh, if you have a loop you need to concatenate all the items values uh, the specific quantity or maybe color or maybe any other type of variation that you are interested to pass so once you are managing all the stuff then you need to pass that specific variable uh, on this uh, code uh, for example this is description so inside of this description uh, you need to uh, currently i have passed the uh, string but if you will be passing a specific variable so whatever would be inside of that variable that would be passed uh, to towards the paypal mm, mm, receipt and over here you will be able to receive the information uh, which you are uh, interested to see on the receipt all right so in this way you will able to get to know that uh, which specific product has been purchased by your customers and after that uh, you will able to deliver that uh, product to your customer easily because you will identify that how many uh, how many uh, how many items has been purchased and uh, the specific uh, name of that item and other information which you have needed so in this way you will get uh, note of all the uh, all the details of your product so i think that this was the um, uh, problem with a lot of other people who already told me that this needs to be solved so yesterday i thought that i have to work on this one so i found the solution so i thought that i have to uh, make a video so that other people could get the benefit out of uh, this specific problem so in the next video i will be implementing the same thing uh, with the shopify store that how you can uh, use this specific information with your shopify store because in that uh, you have also needed to implement the uh, uh, paypal smart button so over there uh, if you will have to pass the information of your product so of course you will have to create a variable and then you need to concatenate the information and finally you will able to uh, get that information over here and in that way you will deliver the product to your customers easily all right so thank you so much for watching this video so one more thing if i if you are not able to find your client id i will be adding the link into the below description so uh, i have another video where i have explained that how you can find the client id from your paypal uh, account so um, uh, just watch that video and you will get no uh, you will find the uh, client id easily and then you will able to use that client id uh, by uh, for implementing this specific uh, demo which i have implemented today and one more thing is like sandbox account so uh, sandbox account is basically for the testing purpose so this is not the genuine transaction but if you are modifying the client id with the live client id then the uh, transaction would be the genuine one right so uh, you need to create a sandbox account and from there you will be getting the credentials and those credentials are useful for uh, getting the information uh, of 
your testing orders so currently you have seen that i have done the testing order test order and here i am uh, able to get the information of my uh, customer who has purchased that specific product so once i am done with this specific uh, transaction so i will have the confirmation that the flow of the code is uh, correct and now i am ready to go with the live account right so then after i will be uh, starting with the live transactions with my customers uh, by only modifying the client id so uh, this was the uh, this was the purpose of the video that i have <coughs> implemented uh, today so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free. So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.